Lots of updates. You also want to read this. That is for the teller. I asked, I threatened, and yet you did nothing. Now I can only beg. Hold forefathers E. The situation is treacherous, I know. Witch hunters prey on human poverty and pay informants well. But it is not lifting to condemn but it is not fitting to condemn our dead to eternal wandering. If needs be, I will take it all on myself. Claim responsibility. I'd rather die than carry on my conscious dead souls who will never know comfort. Polko. Alderman of Midcops. Hmm. Certainly been to Midcops, and I believe spoken to that alderman. Should I be concerned that there's goat hide here when this guy is so close to his goat? Is that perhaps Princess's mom? I hope not. Okay. So, yeah, do we need to go back to the Baron and basically say, hey, dude, mess up? It does seem like it. Let's also check quests here and with... Oh, only family matters now. Okay. Need to be serious to learn more about botching. We did previously. I suppose we could do a little bit of a refresher and then talk to the Baron. So... Thought we did. Although they are still bright. Uh, grayed out. I suppose we haven't fought any yet, so maybe that's partially the reason why we haven't spoken to any. If you can even speak to a botchling at all, I don't know. Saying a botchling's ugly is like saying that, uh, stuff's not particularly tasty. Can't say it's a lie, but it doesn't exactly convey the whole truth either. Lambert. <laughs> okay. Which are the school of the wolf school? Botchlings are perhaps the most repulsive creatures a witcher will ever have the displeasure of meeting. Born of dead, unwanted babies, discarding, discarded without a proper burial. Their appearance is that of a partially decayed fetus. Their unformed flesh, twisted with hate, fear, and malice. These hideous creatures feed on the blood of pregnant women, driven by a mad hunger that most often leads to their victim's death. A botchling will emerge from its lair. The fact that this little baby child has a lair is just, yeah. No thanks. Uh, so it will emerge from its lair at night to lurk by the bedside of an expectant mother, training her strength and that of her unborn progeny as she sleeps. A woman thus beleaguered first suffers from troubling dreams, then fever, delirium, and a general weakening of the flesh. After a few such nights, she is enfeebled and unable to defend herself. It is then the botchling attacks directly, sinking its long, sharp fangs into her body and drinking of her blood until mother and fetus perish together. The botchling stands around a foot and a half in height, but when threatened, and if George with blood, oh no, it can change form. At such times, it grows into a deformed man, hunched over and striding, ape-like, on its forearms. Okay, so if we do see a strange ape-like creature, then theoretically that may be the botling. Stronger and fiercer after this alteration, it hurls itself into direct physical combat, gnashing at its opponents or attacking them with sharp claws. Botling's curse can be lifted, by transforming it into a lubricant, guardian spirit of the heart that watches over the family it never knew in the house it never could call home. If we do need to fight one, then the way to do it would be with Axie and a cursed oil. It is definitely cursed. Definitely cursed. But, yeah, I'm not exactly looking forward to uh, encountering this thing. We were uh, looking at it previously, or at least reading about it previously, and saying to ourselves that, no, that sounds very unpleasant. And figured it would be great if we never had to encounter one of those things, but at the same time, the fact that we were seeing them in the beast area at that point in time suggested that, of course, we eventually would. And now that time has arrived. So I know we were talking to one of the traders earlier and we tried to sell things to the blacksmith, but he wasn't having it. Is that just him being difficult at that point in time, or is that always the case? Because I think that's always the case. Okay, so we'll fast travel in that case. 
Uh, where is? Just lean to the right. Contestants. Can we, can we break this up? Almost. What happens if we actually take one of the punches? They just mostly push us out of the way. Darn. Okay, so let's take this to Crow's Perch. Lightning strike. Mm -hmm. I don't know. The fact that you recognize that immediately upon teleporting here was interesting. So will the people still be mad at us here? Uh, I don't know. What? Whoa! Excuse me? Um... What do we do? I'm not a trained firefighter. And the way up there is in and around this way, I think. But what do we do? Besides just make our way over there. I'm not sure if the port list will be open now. It seems like it is. Hey guys, um... One moment while I take things from here. I have the knack and kit for fixing roofs. Um, you might need to do that pretty soon. I'm pretty sure we're gonna find a lot of roofs are on fire and quite damaged. Any man neglecting to care for his own hut is a fool. A couple such a couple such sots in midcops are accused by services. Their hearts burn to ash. Coincidence? I don't know. Must have been fate sending fire to say it ain't wise to skimp on such things. So think it over, kind folk. I don't know. That sounds like you might have been involved. Flogging. As punishment for failure to perform feudal duties, a hundred lashes each have been administered to George of Shrain, Sten Bratis, Bratis the Elder, and Mussy Holland. May this serve as a reminder. And the feeds can also strike its wayward war uh, wards. Okay. Gwent looking for new players. Hmm. The Sharpers, a Gwent playing society based at Crow's Perch, is looking for new members and opponents. Spirits preferred, but we will also school newcomers to the game. But not return any coin lost during training matches. Is that really schooling or just, you know, ganging up on you? For more information, see the club's chairman, Philip Stringer. Known as the Bloody Baron. Oh, okay. Baron is a fan of the Gwent, I see. Horse races. If you haven't heard, we race horses around here. Thought I might have heard you guys talking a little bit about this previously, that there was a way in which to race horses, and that was theoretically a way in which one could get some coins. Anyone wants to join, come talk to me. I'll find... I'll fill you in on how it works... I'll tell you right now, you gotta pay an entry fee to race. So if you're skint, then get away. Fist fights. Any man who wants to test his manliness by slugging it out in the ring, come see us, and you'll get to fight the best brawlers around. Smithy, Dan Fishgulper, Jonah, and the Sergeant. Also sounds like potentially a new way to earn a little bit of extra coin. Contract Shrieker. To whom that may concern, let it hereby be known that whoever kills the Shrieker, a monster that's wove its nest near Crow's Perch, and is taken to killing both men and beasts, will be given a sizable reward. Take heed that she's a dreadful, dangerous creature, and killing it will take a trained fighter, not just a pack of peasants with pitchforks. Get of Crow's Perch. I'm surprised we haven't run into that, because we've been around this area, I mean, not for a while, but... There was a time when we were here for quite a bit. Velen players. Okay, sure. Fist of Fury, Velen. Beat all the fist fighters. Okay, that is actually a pretty good level for us. It is theoretically a little bit below, but that's probably still okay. And the Witcher contract. The Shrieker is the one we just picked up. Which is also a little bit of a low level. We should probably do those things soon. I mean, we probably want to address the whole flaming building thing first. What happened? 
Oswin. Where's Oswin? Anyone seen him? I believe I saw him heading to the stable. What? Fire. You blind? Nobody willing to put it out? Ain't that simple. Most are afraid. Baron flies into a rage. He takes no prisoners. My brother's in the stable. We've got to save him. He'll burn alive. Uh... Him and the horses. We can try. See what I can First do. and foremost, Hurry we should now, be quick. trying to... First and foremost, we should be trying to put out the freaking fire. Seems like neither of those things were necessarily uh, putting out the fire first and foremost. I mean, talking to the Baron, yes, we do want to do that, but also, um, like, if we put out the fire, then we don't have to worry about that. But it seems like that's just not on the table right now. So, let's see. Teller's Augur showed that the miscarried fetus... That's all about the botchling. You know, just save the stable hand and the horse is trapped in the stable. Okay, but where? Over here? Damn it, won't budge. Probably bolted on the inside. Okay. Bolted. The way in. What? Oh, that's the Baron. Who oh, I just tried to punch. How do we get in? Uh, can we. Blast our way through? Yes, we are burning right now. Hold on. Like this? No? How do we get in there? Ah! Not like that. There is a ladder here. Shit. Fire's spreading. Get in this way. Lots of smoke. Gotta hurry. Come on, dude. Where are you? Okay. See what it says now. I mean, again, theoretically, we could have seen that, but open the main gates to the stables. Save the stable hand. Okay, main gates to the stables. Okay. It's collapsed. We're running out of breath. Is that gonna do it? That looked like the main door. Force is out. <laughs> We've a hero in our midst. The horses. Why, I'm prepared to forgive you the drubbing you gave those pricks at the crossroads. I know your wife miscarried. Was that before or after you beat her to a pulp? What the fuck are you suggesting? Uh, Don't you know. For a fool. You'd been beating them for years. Finally, they'd had enough and fled. Sound about right? Ah! Are we fist fighting the Baron? We are fist fighting the Baron. They ran. Okay. Them, didn't they? Um. Uh, I would like to be able to punch him or do anything for that matter. Cannot do that now. Can I eat some food? I cannot do that. This action is not allowed during combat. He, he's blocking everything. I'm trying to dodge that. Okay, we can't dodge roll. He's also probably like one hit away from taking us out here, which is kind of sad, quite frankly. Now that I... This is actually the first person we fist fought. Might not be. But it kind of feels like it. That's kind of sad that it came down. Really, dude? Whoa, Geralt. Okay, there's some water. Use that to put out the fires, right? Really? Okay. Come on. We need to talk. We do, but also can we like focus on putting out the fires, maybe? Not sure if the person in the stable actually made it out, because I saw the horses get out. Not the person. Sit down. But I mean, we opened the main door and them. then couldn't go back I in to free him. Finger so, on anyways. Back to the bear. Not once. And on Anna. That's another story. Okay. She always knew how to spark my ire. So you're saying you didn't hurt your daughter, but you did hit Anna. Expect me to believe you are a loving father to Tamara after that scene in the courtyard? 
You're free to believe whatever you wish, but she was always the apple of my eye. She had the run of the place, ask anyone. She'd ride the horses, hunt with the men, at times join them on their rounds. And they'd send for her when I flew into a rage, for only she could calm me. Make it sound like she led a charmed life. If that's the case, why'd she run? I'd hardly need you if I knew. Okay, but then... Could very well have something to do with Anna, because it does seem like... That was the real problem. Your, your relationship wife. with her. How'd she make you angry? Too much salt in the soup? Socks never darned? Twenty years we've known each other. She's seen me drunk and sober. She was there to greet me when I returned the victor. She was there to patch me up in defeat. Like no other, she knew where to press, where to pinch, so it would hurt. You beat her? For that? For criticizing you? Ah, oh, Witcher, you haven't a clue, have you? Well, perhaps I shall tell you about it one day. One day, but not today. So, yeah, you saw this coming? You knew they had run away from the start. Yes, I knew. Why didn't you tell me? Wasted my time. Say I had. Say I'd said I had troubles. Couldn't control my wife, my daughter. What kind of flaccid prick would you take me for? Oh, so it's just all about pride, isn't it, then? Didn't want to admit it. And, okay, hold on. Let's watch our words here. So this would... I mean, I'm surprised that ultimately the Baron has let down his guard and admitted to it. So do we kind of strike and, uh, you know, he's basically shown his belly now. Do we, um, you know, seize on that opportunity and try to put him in his place? Or do we show mercy and try not to stoop to his level? Yeah, I think for that reason, let's not do this one. But I think either the first or the last sounds equally good. We're just trying to stick with the facts here. How do we find them? What happened? Tell exactly? me everything you remember about the day they fled. The truth this time. I'd been soaking myself three days straight. Anna came to me, said they were leaving. I begged them to stay. She refused to hear it. I tried to stop her. She wriggled like an eel. We struggled. She fell. Last blasted thing I remember. Woke up in the morn, breeches heavy with my own piss. A large bump on my head. Sadly, they were gone. Know what that's like, Witcher? No. How the fuck could you? I was left with nothing. Nothing! Only the bottle. I mean, kinda, but also you are the sort of the leader of this entire place, and you know, you're arguably one of the most privileged people in this entire area, so that's, you know, not entirely true. You kinda screwed up. Couldn't have done it. Signs of fighting in the room. Did Tomorrow witness it. Signs of a fight in the room. Hole in the wall. Wine all over the landing. Was that you? I. We tussled. She tried to whack me on the noggin with a candlestick, but kept missing. Hit the wall and the pillar instead. I staggered backwards onto the table, spilled the wine, slipped and tumbled. Anna used that moment to flee. She rushed down the stairs, still clutching that damn candlestick. I caught her on the landing. We fell. I, I thought I had her. Then she turned and smacked me in the head. I blacked out. Don't know what happened next. When I came to, I was alone. Yeah, so... You played a much more direct role even than you were just saying recently. And that you know exactly when she left. And of course you were 
person who made that happen. And that she didn't just conveniently happen to black out at the specific time in, in which they opted to flee. Turns out, no, you know, that was part of the whole flight. Where was Tamara, Tamara during this? Tamara wasn't for all this. She see you quarrel. Through the doorway, perhaps. She didn't enter the room. Shame, too. Things might have turned out differently. The sight of her always calmed me. Hmm. I mean, it's still just blatantly unacceptable, of course, but, uh... Okay, what can we what do, though? What happened next? Next? It only got worse. I awoke at sunset, not knowing how many days had passed. Thought it was all a plowing, drunken nightmare. And then I went to the bedchamber, and Anna was not there. Instead, there was blood everywhere. I knew she'd miscarried. My breath short, my throat locked. I neared the bed and saw it. It lay there, a tiny thing, defenseless, on bloodied sheets, dead. And it was my doing. Hmm. Yeah, that's... It's like you got into a fight with her when she was pregnant. Dude, what the heck is wrong with you? Maybe you're doing, maybe not. But that amulet she wore could be important. Or maybe the fact that she lost it. What did you do with a child? What was I to do? Took it out and buried it. But not properly. Just like that. Damn you! I gave no thought to a funeral. It was a horror. I wanted it to end. That child had been my dream. I told Anna, the little one, our little one, to make things right. Yet she died before she could be born. Understand, Witcher. My child was dead. Okay. Yes. True. I sympathize. Tough. I do. Thank you. And know that I hope you find your Siri. Deal we made means I need to find Tamara and Anna first. Just so happens your unborn daughter might help us do that. What? How? Sometimes miscarried fetuses, if they don't get a proper burial, turn into botchlings. Into fucking... What? Uh-oh. He doesn't know? <laughs> yeah, on one hand, it, it might be best if you didn't know the details. feel like it... Well, okay, we'll explain, but I feel like it's just gonna make it matter. A cursed creature that draws strength from killing pregnant women. Once it's strong enough, it attacks those who scorned it. But how? How does it know? Blood ties. They're a strong bond. A bond I want to use to find your family. How? One of two ways. Legends claim you can bury a botchling under the family's threshold, perform a ritual, and turn it into a lubberkin. That's a sort of, uh, hob. A guardian spirit that could lead me to your family. And the other way? Well... We kill it and draw some blood. Take that to the Peller and he does the rest. Do not kill my child. Yeah, we'll try not to. I've suffered enough already. Lift the curse that it may finally rest in peace. Haven't decided what I'll do. No, we definitely want to try to lift the curse. As to whether or not we will succeed remains to be seen, of course, but where do we bury it? Because that is how we will figure out how to... Whatever we do, we gotta find that the bursling first. I'll show you where I buried her. And I'll dig the grave at my threshold. If it turns out we can't transform the botchling into a lubberkin, they can bury us in it. Handy either way. Oh. Yeah, failed to leave that part in the description earlier. Yeah, let's do it now, though. The sooner we resolve this, the better. Best do it tonight at midnight. Then wait here with me. Near midnight, I'll take you to where I buried her. Get word to the common folk. 
ought to stay in their homes tonight and draw a line of salt outside their doors. And try to sober up. Do I take a shovel to dig up the grave? Take it. You'll need it, but not for that. Oh. Okay. A bit further. Follow me. Oh, is this the area that we were in previously? The area that looked like it was kind of rubble on the edge of town? The child a name. Where we jumped no. in on a couple what of occasions? Would we? Mistake. Names are powerful seals. Okay, I feel like we also should definitely save right about now. This game probably did autosave at one point in time, in and around there, but just be sure. So it's probably good that we did give the Baron as much information as we did, because it seems like he's fully on board at this stage. That can only prove helpful, I would think. And now he has the most information about Chose a lovely child. spot. Damn it, will you relent? I'm plowing now I've done wrong. Good. The grave's dug up and empty. What's that mean? Some Watch things on the prowl. Yeah. Look out. Probably behind us, like right now. Yep. Hey, totally disgusting thing. Look. Ew. Yep. You don't want to fight it, ideally. Turn the botch thing into lubricant. Arms, quick. And if it goes Garrity, it'll bite us in the arse before we know it. Keep screaming and it will turn rabid. It's calm for now. Bloody hell. What happens when it gets very restless? It'll bite through your jugular and you'll bleed to death before I can help. Tell me if it starts wriggling. I'll call it with magic. Okay. Pick it up. Take it in your arms. Ready for some potential quick time events, maybe? I don't know. Merciful gods. Hello there. Oh, that's just lovely. Back to the fortress. This? As I recall, you were the one wanted to test the old legends, change it into a lubberkin. Oh, fuck. Okay, follow the Baron to the castle's entrance. Apparently that we shall we talk to him now. Bloody now it's too <laughs> Okay. Don't know if it's gonna go crazy at any point in time, so let's stay close. We can. Gerald said we could potentially subdue it with magic. I don't know if he's thinking Axie, maybe? So let's maybe be prepared for that pot poten potential thing. Um, um. Ow. Um, um. Gerald, please get the actual, the actual rape. Come on, we, we actually want Yurden in this instance. And they should be quick to take out. But the lies are proving so difficult. There are more of them. Okay. Don't know if the botchling will also ultimately take out the Baron. I feel like that is theoretically possible. We are too slow here. We've already been rather pokey. This tank is driving something fierce. Can't hold it. Calm it somehow. Assuming Axie. Oh. Yeah. Quiet now. Might be more of that. Let's heal up. But, but what do you want to do with it? Me? Nothing. This is your job. <laughs> I told you, gotta bury it under the threshold. If the tales are true, by tomorrow it'll be a lubricant. From then on, it'll watch over your house and help me find your family. Okay. I feel like we might run into one more round of rates. Yup. Let's prepare for... Well, I don't know if we're gonna go rates first, or botchling going crazy first. No. Need to hurry. first. Oh, with it. 
Come on. Come on. No, nope. into, into the urn, please. One right down. Ow. Come on, get over here. Stop hitting me. I need, I need to, I need to take you out quickly, please. Please. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Back here. Okay, now click to taxi. Nope, we're not done yet. Uh oh. I did not see that coming. Now, Axie. It works. Okay. Cool. Start. That's tense. I don't know how much time you really Just have to do that stuff. So. No, so think of one. It's important. It's but I felt like you were close. But what honor of time to... No, what would Anna have named her? I feel like you know the answer to that much more than I do. Theoretically, it looks like this is the spot we're looking for. What now? Repeat after me. By the powers of earth and sky. By the powers of earth and sky. By the world that was to be your home. By the world that was to be your home. Forgive me, you who came, but who I did not embrace. Forgive me. You who came, but who I did not embrace. I name thee, say her name, and embrace thee as my daughter. I name thee, Daya, and embrace thee as my daughter. Good. Now bury the body. Okay. I think that went according to plan. It's definitely not six feet, but we'll give it to you. What now? In one day's time, Dea should turn into a Lubberkin. I'll stay here and wait. You go home. I'll Please. wait with you. Out of the question. But no. That's my child. And the guilt, the responsibility for all this. Also, we are at his home, are we not? Time for parental impulses? It's long past. Besides, nothing else you can do here. But. No buts. Just Witcher's work left to do here. Gotta wait a day and a night for the botchling to turn into a lubberkin. That's it. Not sure Go why we need to be and try not to drink yourself guarding it. again. In the meantime, though. Okay, some of the lubberkin for the botchling is buried. Sure. Let's take a look at what this says. Well, yeah, that's what it says. We just read it. So I mean we do Sit and wait, okay. I was gonna say, do we meditate and deliberately try to do that for 24 hours or so? No. In good course, it seems. But is there any special Witcher work at this point? Is there a reason why Geralt was so insistent upon Varen not being here at this point in time? By blood's power, I summon you. With your name, I beseech you. Hear my call and arise, Dea. Now it feels like Harold's second part of the satanic rituals. Lead me to those bound to you by blood. Still looks the same when it's in lubricant form. I mean, obviously it's glowing, but uh, it still, yeah, it looks like, uh, you know, the form fetus. Yeah, and also people pay no mind to the, the floating deformed fetus that happens to be going through town. No! <laughs> no! 
I wanted to stop and say hello, but it's gone already. Yeah, just just don't ask questions. You know? Wizardry. Wizardry. Okay, that's fitting, I suppose. For the most part, though, it seems like people are not taking note of it. It is just taking us out and theoretically, I suppose, all the way to the location in question. However far that may be. Ooh. One second, lubricant. I mean, I don't really need to fight these guys, I suppose. And it's not waiting around for us, it doesn't seem. Well, maybe it was a little bit. Okay. Off the side a bit now. Is this not where we ran into the guy who tried to fight us initially? Made Bill Burry person? Around, though. Okay. I thought there might have been. Oh. Horseshoe. No way a pinch burner could afford a horse. Okay. There might have been a, an area that went down into like a cellar here that we weren't able to go into originally. Clothing. They change in here. Was there not something of that sort? I thought I just saw. Anything out this far? Into the woods? Oh, that's just petals. Mm. My guess is that most of it is in that area there, but there might be something that's still a little bit in the woods here. Wouldn't necessarily rule it out. Oh, what's that? Oh, didn't see this first. A bracelet. One of them must have dropped it. Both were here and going the right way. Okay. Now it says, "What? Paul Lubekin again?" Wants to show me something more. Okay. More. Browners or something. Oh, he, oh no. Intrigues. Okay. Seems like at various points in time, we may just run into enemies like that along the way. Those Intrigues can actually have good stuff, though, more so than the Browners. So I wanted to make sure we did take the time to actually loot them. For the most part, though, I don't expect them to be terribly difficult, whatever enemies we may run into here. We may find that in the future there are also enemies that are largely skippable. Where are you heading? I'm curious. We look on the map. Is this going to be a location we've already been to? We're headed toward Lindenvale. This is the road that we first took on our way to Crow's Perch. We went in the opposite direction from Lindenvale to Crow's Perch, but that would suggest... Unless we go way off the path here, that probably been to this location. That's a rock piece. There's also, I suppose, probably an enemy that we don't particularly need to fight. Whoa! Just had a field day. What? So we just took one out. Now it's back. It seems like this is also the area in question. Did the necrophages keep on coming up? Those rock beams are definitely spawning. That horse carcass. I will. Master. As soon as these rock fiends stop showing up, it might be that they spawn indefinitely until you do. But we'll see. That's theoretically a way of not. Uh, ooh, dear. Not wasting sword durability. There are more of them? Wow. Yeah, I really do think they're coming in that case. Maybe? I don't know, is this just meant to be a really long fight? It's not terribly difficult, of course, it just feels like... It was giving me the impression of a never-ending wave. The rock beans, they do have 
half decent loot as well. So that's at least not the end of the world that we pick up that stuff. Yes, I do know we are technically supposed to take a look at the horse there, but I want to make sure we don't miss out on anything from those enemies that we just fought. But I think selling those items, done it on occasion. Just this remaining? Looks like there's still, yeah, a little bit more. I think we have sold some of those crafting items on occasion, and they're fairly valuable. So now I think it's just this. Let's take a look. What do we have here? Uh, I don't know. Take a look around. Head torn clear off. Takes incredible strength. From what, though? What? I didn't think we were chasing a monster here. Horseshoes missing. Is this the animal that lost one in the smokehouse? Seems like it very well could be. Giant claws. Wasn't a necrophage made these marks. Yeah, this is something big. Bigger, it would seem, than something like one of those Rothians. Rothians don't really saddle. have claws. Necrophages will eat anything these days. The larger necrophage? Geralt is still saying necrophage, but bigger than a Rothian. Bones have been here a while. Okay. Must have been attacked together. by a powerful beast. Surprised him. Hope they got away. Okay. Trail goes on. Back Good thing it doesn't end here. Yeah, that's true. If it ended there, then that would not bode so well for the family members. We were headed toward Lindenvale. And more monsters here. Likely wolves. Can I prefer to just not have to fight them? But I'm not sure we have an option. Seems like... There's not really a choice. Fortunately, we can outright igni them. Once we get the actual stamina to, to do that. The moves tend not to have good loot, so that was partially the reason why I wanted to do that rather than swing our sword at them. Save in all the durability we can, because obviously our gear is not looking great at the moment. This is... is this London Vale? Or is this a totally different place? No, this is a totally different place. I don't remember if we stopped by here previously. It was... on the road, or just off of the road that we went down. I think we have. There's a little dock here. Right? I mean, we've been here before, for, sh for certain. I remember this. We've looted this, we'll find, I'm sure. Yep. Okay. So, interesting. There's more to this, this place, though, than we first would have thought, it seems.